Yo everybody, my name is Jay Frost, and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily add a subdomain and WordPress to the subdomain in one free hosting. The reason why I'm making this video is because I had lots of problems with this and I looked on YouTube for some methods and I couldn't find any, so I'm going to show you my way of doing this. E it's easy, simple, and if you want to have a subdomain on your domain and, and you just want a completely different WordPress account on it, also, then this video will help you. So yeah, the first thing that we're going to do is go to the control panel. And this is how one free hosting works. It shows your active accounts and then you click switch. So I want to install this domain. No, not the domain. I want to install this subdomain to frostboom.com. So I'm going to click switch and I'm going to go down to domains and click subdomains. And as you can see, um, I have some subdomains here already. iNinja.frostboom.com and I have music.frustman.com which I haven't added anything to yet or any HTML I have forums but I want to add a new subdomain called test just for this tutorial I'm going to call it test so I'm going to click create and it's going to say subdomain has been created due to DNS propagation it could take 12 hours before your new subdomain will start working that's bull it's not going to take that long trust me sometimes it could if you're just like if like the world hates you and everything goes wrong for you then it will take 12 hours so I'm just gonna click the uh, subdomain right here I clicked it and it says index of which means that it is successfully created and what that means is we can add our own HTML or code to it or we could add WordPress and in this tutorial in the beginning I stated that I'd show you how to add WordPress to it so I'm just gonna add WordPress just to make it a little easier because I don't think you want to watch me write HTML in this video and then add it so yeah let's go back to the control panel and click switch and uh, go down to website and then go to auto installer and basically uh, there's two auto installers and in, uh, one free hosting currently this new one sucks so use the old one it's a lot better So I'm just gonna click the old one and as you can see I've installed WordPress on three subdomains already no three two subdomains one domain okay so click install WordPress 3.3.1 or whatever version is like the latest when you actually watch this video and I'm gonna do and I'm gonna put install to frostman.com slash test because we made the subdomain test at frostman.com so that's uh, the access folder or wherever it's going to install WordPress to and then I'm gonna make a username test and then a password and for all the new blarks who are going to try to like hack this, like I'm, it's gonna be like removed before the video is like uploaded to YouTube. All right, so yeah. Okay, it's gonna say directory content will be overridden. Do you wish to continue? Of course, because that's exactly what we want, and it's easier, but uh, easier than adding it with um, FileZilla or Smart FT, FTP. So we're gonna click OK. Software is now being installed. Please make sure you have copied installation details to a safe location. Um, yeah, if you are actually like planning on keeping your subdomain, unlike me, I'm going to delete it right after this video. If you're planning on keeping this, then I would suggest you take that information and copy it and like save it in notepad or something. Or if you're a noob, write it down on a piece of paper. Alright, so it's going to say software installed, view result, click view result. And um, now you can just click frostman.com slash test and you're going to see that uh, your WordPress junk is set up already. And if we go back to uh, control panel and go to switch and then go to uh, subdomains right here and click test.frostman.com, you can see it also installed WordPress to it. So that's a really awesome, fantastic, fast way to add WordPress to a subdomain. Um, to log in, you go to uh, test.frostman.com slash wp admin. And you put in your username you put we made and the password. In this case, it was test12345. Click login or press enter if you're a pro. And then, uh, yeah, so you're in your dashboard. You can edit your website. Like right now, I could go to settings and then like change the tag tagline to uh, awesome tutorial. And then the site title maybe J awesome tutorial. Yeah, I spell it incorrectly just so it'll be like awesome instead of like awesome 
and then click save changes and then like refresh or something or press F5 if you're a pro but I forgot to press F5 but that doesn't mean I'm not a pro it just means that I forgot anyways it's gonna say J awesome tutorial and then awesome tutorial right there and yeah basically that's how you add a subdomain in one free hosting and then successfully install WordPress to it I had lots of problems doing this so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if it helps you please subscribe and um, yeah I'll be making more videos so subscribing will help you stay tuned thanks for watching bye